technology, I want to transition and start talking about business finance a little bit, uh, because that's also a big area of finance that a lot of business owners who, after their engineering, their computer science, they have startups, but this is the area that they really struggle in finance um, and people who have studied also finance, they struggle in practicality. They know the theory of it, but how to actually mine, manage finance in day to day, how to avoid cash crunch. So I want to talk to you about this. How can someone master business finance and financial management in business? Right. Let me uh, tell you one aspect. When I talk about finance for known finance in the business to manage, let's understand the vehicle, vehicle first. See, the money is coming in and going out from a bank account. Every business has a bank account. Your True. customer is making a payment, coming in bank. You are making payment to somebody, going through bank. So that channel. So I always say to people to manage the finance, first of all, let's have a proper structure. Just like an engineer, create the structure of a machinery and the outcome is natural. Just like an architect, create the, the map of the building like Burj Khalifa and that it come into existence in the due course of time. Similarly, we need to create the map, which is very simple. You know what? What is that? It is opening four bank accounts. Okay. It is called four bank account system. Four bank account. When I say four bank account, account number one is inflow account. Account number two is payable account. Three is expense account. And four is cash reserve account inflow account. So you will dedicate one bank account where only the inflow of money will come. Your customer is making payment, either making online, RTGS, giving a check or by whatever the way you are getting the money. If you have a like bakery shop, you are getting a money in the cash, it will get deposited into the bank. All the inflow will get deposited into this bank and this will be the inflow account. In case you are having an overdraft or CC facility from your bank, then overdraft or CC account will become your inflow account. So that the money when it is coming into this account, the interest will be absolutely less inflow account. Another second account is payable account. Payable account means whenever you need to make a payment to your vendor for the purchase of material or goods or the services, so whichever the bills have come, you will make a aging report of those people and oldest bill will be paid on a periodic basis. For example, you decide that every Monday I will make a payment or once in a 15 days I will make a payment. So the calculated amount that need to be paid to the vendor must be paid from the payable account. For example, the amount works out to be 15 lakh rupees. Transfer online from inflow account to payable account. And from payable account, make a payment to the respective vendor. Nice. So every 15 days, every one week, you decide, let's say, I have to make payment of 10,000 this month yeah. or this week. Then since your inflow account has all the cash, yeah. payable account is zero right now. There's no cash in it. You will take the yes. exact amount, the 10,000 from yes. your account number one and put into account number two. And through the account number two, you'll make a payment. Yes. Okay. Yes. Why not pay it through account number one itself? Uh, number one, financial control. See what will happen if the money is coming in this account and going from this account. So there will not be any physical control of the cash. Hmm. We will have to depend upon the accounting department or the, or the, or the clerical thing. Bank is reconciled. Bank is not reconciled. This, that or not a delay in updating the document. See, like you are an engineer, you are a technical, like you want everything on the background on a very, very simply way in simple way. So irrespective of the fact that the accounting is completed or not, irrespective of the fact that there are other challenges, fundamentally you have controlled the money. Secondly, you have the complete control on the inflow. You may have to share your password with your team or delegation of authority. So, so you are giving only that much of amount that need to be given to the people on the same day. So the chances of uh, fraud is eliminated. Wow. This is a very powerful <laughs> point. And, 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 and the beauty is you can delegate uh, the, the power of uh, expenses by putting the money in the third account. The third account is expense account. Okay. 
in the expense account all the expenses like salary electricity telephone and any other expenses so in this account also you will decide a periodicity either monday or 15 days or once in a month the amount required will be transferred to the expense account and it will be paid automatically from there you also can have like auto debit facility for the uh, payment like electricity and all that now inflow money is going to the expense account so that way now this account can further be delegated uh, to the organization hierarchy that way all the time all the time you will be rest assured in the business in your mind that all the money is there in the inflow account and that is safe sure. intact and you have the control on that oh wow so this is powerful so inflow account all the money comes in then there is two accounts that we spoken so far the second account is the payable account payable account is a, a variable cost account all the variable costs like paying to vendors or some things etc in the third yeah. account is the expense account which is the fixed cost of a business regardless okay. of if you make sales or not you have to make salary payments you have to make rental payments you have to make electricity and telephone payments so the yeah. expense account is a third account so right. money comes from inflow goes to payable as required goes to expense as required perfect right. yes. and then there is a fourth account that is the most important and the real 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 account of the business okay. <laughs> right so i'm curious to know <laughs> that account is the reason why you are doing the business and that's where the growth success uh, of the business uh, exist and the name of that account is cash reserve account you decide in advance you decide in advance for example your net profit is 10% collection comes to you you will be transferring a specified percentage of the collection itself to your cash reserve account that mean to say if you are selling the uh, item for 10000 and that cost you 8000 a total collection of uh, 10000 comes to you now 8000 is being retained here only in the main account 2000 will be transferred to cash reserve account and this is how your profit will become visible wow okay this is very powerful for those who are into business you can you can probably understand this sound stuff but this is really powerful so jagmohan ji you're saying every time i receive a payment let's say i receive a payment today of 10000 yeah i will take up certain amount 5% 10% and put it into the net profit immediately That's yes it. yes maybe that day maybe weekly you can give a standing instruction uh, to your uh, accountant that every monday transfer the 10% of the collection to the cash reserve account wow. so if you want daily you can do daily whichever the way you like okay so this is so taking out a certain percentage of profit and putting in the whole separate account whole separate account see that the principle of separate accounts always works amazingly see what happens is profit should only be utilized for the purpose of reinvestment into the business see you are saying that your business is amazing your business is earning 35% or more return on investment all other business like tata bidla rinais they are earning 22% and you say no i am earning more so i would like to reinvest this money into my business only so if you are reinvesting it should be visible it should be like based upon the calculation your finance people and you in the board of meeting decide okay how much is the cash reserve 10 lakh okay so either you will take out this money and invest in the fd or you will invest in uh, real estate or you will invest in uh, equity or otherwise you are not doing outside your business that mean to say your business is giving more return only in that case you will be reinvesting that money into your business this will guarantee the success of the business why because generally what happen on the one hand our customer is delaying making the payment we are buying the material and money is being kept in the stock inventory everywhere no reserve is getting created there is a profit in the books of account but we don't know where exactly the money is there's no cash profit it's not tangible it's just in the accounts it's just in the account and it is invisible and everybody is fighting where is profit where is my profit where is my profit so the moment you decide that i am going to reinvest in my business otherwise you will waste in making the payment of like some uh, uh, regular routine expenditure of the business and expenditures are not getting stopped in the business 
customer payment is it it is just like evaporated in the business itself so every board meeting you will took a conscious decision that this much of reserve has got created the moment you will start following this principle it is called the profit uh, first principle this way in the business there is a complete physical control on the cash flow physical control physical with the inflow payable expense and the cash reserve account